Hello from Vancouver. The 99th Grey Cup is now in the books and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers once again for the fifth straight time lose the Grey Cup. Uh, pretty much all you can say about this one, 34-23 uh, loss to the BC Lions, is that it was a complete team effort starting with the offense, right Paul? Yes, that's fair to say. The offense came out uh, flat as they have so many times this season. Uh, one first down in the first series and then five straight two and outs. Uh, same thing happened in the uh, second half, a first down quickly and another string of two and outs. Uh, put a couple field goals on the board, but not nearly enough support for the defense, which actually hung in there right to the last play of the third quarter, and then it collapsed. I don't know that it wore out, but uh, it certainly needed more support from the offense. Yeah, the defense, you know, the, the story so often for this Bomber team over the last how many years, you go in the locker room, you ask the defense, so the offense kind of let you down again. You're eh? right. And that's, you know, something the Bombers need to figure out this offense soon. Yeah, like, it was uh, what? a problem. It was the bottom half of the CFL all season long. Yeah. Uh, not much better than Hamilton or Toronto. No. Uh, so it, they got some work to do there and that's Paul LaPolice's area of expertise. Yeah. So uh, he's got some work to do there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, defensive coordinator Tim Burke wasn't happy with the defense. You know, they, uh, they he was really upset with Jonathan Hefney getting beat deep. He said there was another uh, player out there who was nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Maybe a safety, maybe Perhaps another defensive safety. back. I don't hmm. know, but he didn't get much help. And then the next drive, where uh, BC just marched down the field to make it 31 to nine, not happy about that either. And you know the defense, yeah. the defense was out there a lot. BC was on the field 10 minutes more than Winnipeg. Sure. And uh, my concern yeah. though was no pass rush. Um, no, no pressure on no, Travis. I thought Lulee. the secondary and the linebackers were fine through three quarters, especially the secondary coming up and covering really well and yeah. knocking some plays down. A bit of a rough start, a couple of breakdowns right early on, but then it settled in and uh, gave them a chance, uh, but the pass rush wasn't there. Travis Lule was obviously not in a groove either, just like Buck Pierce, but the Bomber defense didn't take advantage of that. They let him have time to get comfortable, yeah. and then eventually he took over. So. Yeah. You have to give a lot of credit, though, to the BC Lions. They, uh, they, proved, they proved down the stretch that they were the best team. Mm -hmm. Travis Lule with an MVP performance, I thought, in the second half after he calmed down. What did you like from the Lions tonight that, that is the reason why they're, uh, they're champs on home turf? That defense is pretty good. It is. It is. Yeah, like, it, that's what we said. Both the Bomber and the Lions defense yeah, was good, and yeah. the Lions proved that tonight. Even better. They maybe they, are, they, maybe well, they made the statement that they're the better one of the bunch, right? I they hung in they there for the full have. four quarters. That's uh, right. Winnipeg's only lasted three. So, yeah. uh, And, of course, a sad note ending uh, Doug Brown's career this way. He was uh, really emotional in the locker room, actually shed some tears. Um, and uh, needed to take a break from some interviews and then before coming back for kind of round two of interviews yep. and uh, didn't he want to address the fact that this was his last potentially, well it was his last game of his career, didn't he want to go there because just the fact that he lost the Grey Cup, that this team, the 2011 Blue Bombers, ends the season this way was overwhelming enough for him, he yep. said, let alone adding the bigger picture too. So. Yeah. There it is once again. Another bomber legend goes through Winnipeg. Mm -hmm. A long career, just like Milt Stiegel. Just like Doesn't Milt. win a cup as the Grey Cup drought reaches 21 years. Tying a modern-day franchise record, just like 1963 to 83. So next year is the year? Next year is the year they either break the record or end the drought. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. We will. Anyway, that's it. We're uh, going to be out of Vancouver soon. Yes. It's been a good week. Yep. For Paul Friesen, I'm Kirk Penton. Thanks for watching us.